a year ago, our Amish harness maker was visiting us here uh, at Learburg in Menominee, Wisconsin. And we had talked earlier about the biothane material that he uses to make the biothane synthetic leashes. And uh, I had asked him what he thought was stronger, the leather or the biothane. And he said he thought the biothane would actually be stronger. He said, it's a given that no dog is ever going to be strong enough to break a six foot leather leash. They can't do it. They can chew through it, but they're never going to pull on it and break it. He took a piece of leather, three quarter inch leather leash, and he took a piece of biothane leash and he attached them to D rings and attached them to his horse, his draft horse. And he took one end of these leashes and fastened them with a chain and a clip to a fence post, a corner post. And then he had his horse pull until one of them broke. And I was surprised when he said the leather broke over the biothane. So I said, Amos, I've got to come down there and take a video of that because that's just kind of fascinating. Yeah. And we went and filmed in his workshop and I brought it up again and I said, Amos, I've got five horses at home. I've never driven horses, but I have a little bit of horse sense. If we hook this whole thing up, I can handle the horses and I'd like to videotape this just to show people how strong biothane leashes can be. So we went out and the first thing he did was hook up the horse and I had to move the horse around, which is not that hard. Me and the horse made friends. As you can see, I could drive him and I could back him up a little. And then I had to back him up a lot. And we had the biothane leash and the leather leash hooked to the post. And I thought in the beginning that this horse was going to have to struggle to break these leashes. And I learned that horses are a lot more powerful. There's a reason the horse can pull a buggy down the road at 15 miles an hour because they are tough because it didn't take that horse very long to snap the leather leash. <laughs> we actually redid it with another leather strap and it broke again on the leather. And then I said, why don't we just hook up the biothane just to see if the horse will break the biothane. And he did, but he had to work a little bit harder to break it. Now that doesn't mean that yep. long-term biothane in my opinion, is better than an Amish Latigo leather leash. I will always well, err break. to the Amish Latigo leather. There is a place for uh, the biothane leashes that we sell that uh, Amos and his family put together for us, and that is uh, the 20-foot tracking lines. Uh, having been a canine handler for 10 years, a biothane can uh, get wet and not have uh, the type of problems that you would have if a leash gets really wet, a leather leash gets really wet. What happens is over time the biothane leashes are going to crack and uh, it, they look like cracks. So Amos says that they flake apart, cracking apart, flaking apart, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is over time they're just not going to last as long as a leather leash. This is also going to be amplified by the climate that people live in. If they live in a very wet climate uh, or if they live in a very cold climate, I would recommend leather over the biothane. You will get a lot longer life out of a leather leash than you will out of the same size uh, biothane leash. But as I said, there are places and applications for biothane to be used uh, in dog training and quite frankly, People don't have to be afraid of having the biothane break on them, and that horse is the perfect example of why.